had a lot of that. You know? It's a cuddle party. We're gonna go in there smelling like alcohol. So. Well, that's how you spent the last year of our marriage. <clears throat> Can we just go, please? Yes, all right, fine. Pass me my pajamas, okay? I need to change. Fuck. Did you fucking forget my pajamas? I'm sorry. Oh, for Christ's sake. You had one job, Drew. You're gonna have to get cuddled in a business suit. Why can't we just go to couples counseling like everybody else? Name knows. one couples therapist that hasn't been divorced like seven times. Name one. There are none. We have to try this. You know what? I am willing to go in there because I am not okay with the fact that we are completely fucked. We're completely fucked. I said that we're completely fucked first. I'm also saying that we're fucked at the same time. Cheese puff as a snack. Can we just please go? Everybody's gonna be covered in neon orange schmegma. They won't be covered in it because we're gonna put your Purell right by the bowl. Or your sweatpants. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm comfortable. Let's just fucking cuddle these people. Joy. Knock, knock. Oh, Jane and Drew, I presume. We're just finishing some ice-breaking exercises, so feel free to come in and set up your nest as quickly as you can. Okay, so we're, uh, we're a tad behind right now, so we're gonna start to pass around the talking stick, okay? So when you have the talking stick, please respect others with your silence, okay? Who wants to go first? Let's yeah. start with you. Hello and namaste, everyone. I'm Harry Nanda, and this is my wife and life partner, Grace. We're here to both center our heart chakras and rekindle that bond of intimacy before we bring a life into this world in just a few short weeks. Oh. Namaste. Okay. <coughs> oh. <laughs> um, hello, everyone. Um, this is Billy, Hi. and I'm Wesley, and we just thought this would be a more centered way to, an anti-farmer way to deal with Billy's erectile dysfunction. You know, your openness is inspiring. Thank you. Thank you. Really? Yeah. yeah, sure. It's kind of off. Um, thanks. Uh, so, we are Fred and Trish, and after we lost Trish's mother to cancer, we lost a little piece of ourselves, I guess. Like, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Jane, 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 Jane. Oh. Jane. Maybe just the comforter will be fine. Just blowing it up. Keep talking. I'm listening. Oh, oh, no, no, sorry. No, no, Jane, Jane. No, no. Really. Just the comforter. She's got a coccyx thing. That's... Yeah. Jane, you don't have the stick. Fred has a stick. Fred, could you please continue? So this is the one year anniversary of losing Suzanne to a long, very courageous battle with a, a type 2 lymphoma that just... Oh, oh, Drew! Mm -hmm. Drew? You said the comforter. Yeah, not the time. Right. Yeah, finish up the cancer thing. Oh, okay. I guess it's her turn. I don't know where it's been. It's a good thing I brought the pre Just out. start talking. Okay. I'm Jane. This is Drew. Um, how to say this? Um, Just go. I cheated. Yes, I did. There it is. I had an affair with a coworker. Okay, so just savor that in your mouth for a little second. And um, this one over here insists on acting like he just doesn't. Because I don't. He refuses to show any passion, none, unless you count his, uh, his ever-changing careers, which he uses as an excuse to stay at home and just play on his Xbox all goddamn day. It's not a professional game. And just hurl really passive-aggressive attacks at me and my job, right? Oh, what you do? As if working for the Department of Defense, being a lawyer for the Department of Defense right? is working for Satan. Yes, you're with me on this, right? Unbelievable. Anyway, uh, where was I? I never ask for a divorce. No, so. Drew, because you don't ask for anything. You don't say anything, you don't talk about anything. I mean, just, I'm really, I'll be honest, I'm really starting to feel just completely invisible. I mean, husbands, how many of you would notice if your wives waxed their initials no, in their bush? Please don't go into this. Okay, you know. Do you ever wax? Hey, 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 give me the stick. Talk you seem real you serious so about a razor over there. Okay, I have the stick. Okay? So it's, it's, it's a comic sans. You don't have the stick. Facing your partner, legs crossed, 
want you to get as close as you can to each other without touching. Okay, I want you to breathe in, breathe out, relax. I want your eyes to lock into the gaze of your partner. And I want you to communicate only with that gaze. Nice. Breathe in. Allison, point of order. All right, all right, all right. You know what? Right now, we're using our quiet voices. Uh -huh. yeah. What are we supposed to be communicating? You communicate whatever you want. OK, what does it look like he's communicating right now? I, I, I don't know. Do you see that? I see nothing. He hates my fucking face. I do not. Yes, you do. That's Allison, that's not what I was communicating. If I wanted to say that, I would look more like this. OK, do you see what he's doing? You know what? You know what's great about this? You're communicating, even if it's not what you want to hear. So all we have to do is get to that next level where we do it without speaking. You cheated. Can I have the talking stick? You cannot. It's just for a second. No. OK, to keep loosening up our cuddle muscles, I want us to move into a four-way hug. So oh, feel free to leave your partner and share your energy with the room. It's OK. You, right. Yep. Let's, let's oh. Share your energy. Did you want to, were you, was that a, um, were you trying to let me know? Time, you guys. Would you like to yeah. Yeah, absolutely. come over here? Yeah. Yeah. Should I? Am I in your way? Yes. I need your four-way yeah. hug oh. partner. I'm so scared. Oh, you guys, before you lock it up. Uh, we're we're pretty locked up, actually. How about everybody down in here? Is everybody good right now? Now, I want everyone to breathe out everything that's keeping you from complete and total relaxation. Mm -hmm. Remember that we're all learning how to be intimate again. So anything that does not serve your spirit, your mind, and your body, just push it out. Oh. Oh. OK, you hear that? That's someone reconnecting with their pleasure center. Oof. Oof. Uh-huh, because your, our reptile brains are programmed for intimacy. It's society that cuts us away from our roots. Ooh. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Let it out. Breathe it out. Oh. Ooh, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. OK, well, you know, we want to stay clear of the sexual side of things. Yes, this is just relaxation. <laughs> yes. That's great, you guys. OK, I think we did it. I think you've all earned a, a snack before we get into our freeform cuddle exercises, OK? For seven years, and I haven't even met her parents. It's OK. I mean, you just focus on your relationship. She's you know, met my parents several times. You don't want to. You don't want to meet her parents. Meeting in-laws is, she's doing you a favor. Jane's told me she doesn't really like kids, you know? She thinks they're like little people. We all have our problems. That's why we're here. Yeah. Sorry about your dick. Uh, Drew, could I speak with you in private, please? Sure. Some of the other cuddlers have been suggesting that you've been making them feel uncomfortable, that you've been manifesting some palpable negative energy towards each other. Oh, well, I mean, that... OK, we have issues, but so do they. I yeah. mean. I mean, nobody comes here because they want to. There's a lot of people that come here without having to, Jay. If yeah. I could say this, I feel like we're doing a pretty good job of keeping our personal stuff on the DL. What I need from you is for you to stay here. I want you to breathe. I want you to find your calm place. And then I want you to return only when you're ready to connect and communicate with respect for everyone. So here's what we'll do. We'll be aware of it. Yep. We're going to be uh, reflecting reflect on, on it. it. And then we're going to move forward. OK. All right. It's time to start the second half of our cuddle journey this afternoon, where we begin by expressing what we learned so far. Dakota, would you like to go first? You know what? I'll tell you what I've learned. I learned that one of you cuddlers has been talking smack about Drew and me behind our backs. Yeah, who said shit about us? Jane, sweetheart, you do not have a stick. Oh, OK, fine. Then give me the talking stick, please. No. You're not even talking. Give me yeah, the talking stick. I have the talking stick, and it is not your turn. No. Dakota, don't be a dick. Just give my wife the talking stick. Yeah, Dakota. Oh, give her the talking stick. No, 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 man. No. Give it to her. It's but <gasps> That stick was blessed. 
you will apologize now from a place of sincerity so we can continue with this afternoon. No, nobody is apologizing for anything. Yeah, my wife does not apologize. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. There, you like that? Here's your moment, because you were right. Drew and I are horrible, insufferable, self-centered, judgmental people. But, newsflash, so is everybody else here. And just like everybody else, we deserve the same treatment, which is to just, I don't know, just be acknowledged. That's all I want. It's all I want, starting with you, Drew. I hate myself, okay? I hate myself. I hate myself for betraying you. I hate myself for betraying us. I felt like I had to do something to get your attention. Because I love you. Look, I mean, yeah. You fucked up. You fucked up our, our lives. And, and then I fucked them up, too, because I shut you out. You know, I did. I shut you out because I wanted to hurt you in the same way that you hurt me. And that's so fucking dumb. We can't live like that. That's not a marriage. What's that gonna do for us? We could do that for the rest of our lives. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna be here with these people. I wanna be home with you because I love you too. I don't think this cuddle party is gonna help us though. So let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. That's my blanket. Don't forget my air mattress. This is mine. Thing over here. Oh my god, babe. Free. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, someone help what him. Happened? I'm a nurse. Okay, okay. He's choking. I'm a nurse. No problem. Let's get him on his side. Get him on his side. I'm gonna administer the Heimlich. Can somebody call 911. I just need to clear the airway. So don't cuddle him, man. I'm administering the Heimlich. <laughs> I don't say, I mean... I, I don't know what to say. I feel... I mean, I feel terrible. I will say this. Mm. Everything apart from that... worked, right? And I feel... It did. I feel like it did, right? It did, it worked. Yeah. I mean, for us? I think so. It did. I didn't. I was very surprised. I was very surprised. Do you want to? I mean, should we? Like, do we go home and. Do you want to go home and cuddle? Do you want to cuddle me?